During the economic depression in Greece, Penikotsi's business has fallen by two-thirds. Many of her clients are bankrupt and jobless, even homeless, so she often cuts their hair on credit so they can go to a job interview. Kotsis has moved premises twice looking for a more affluent clientele, and she's cut her prices by half. But rising taxes have convinced her that the government doesn't want her business to survive. We're not being heard at all. Our, our voice doesn't count. We're definitely closing down slowly, slowly. If we're not careful, we're going to close down. The way the government's going, that's what their plan is. This is what they're showing us. So the, hey, guys, you'll be working for us until you can't handle it, until you get into debt, and we just want you to close down. We want whatever property you have, whatever is yours, we want it. Austerity policies were originally meant to turn the Greek economy around in two years. So far, they've lasted eight, and as a result of them, 700,000 people are no longer considered middle class. There are achievements. The budget is balanced. The government spends no more than it raises in taxes, so it's not getting deeper into debt. Greek labor is more competitive because salaries fell, so exports are up. The number of tourists has doubled in three years. Greek agricultural products now bring a quarter of the money that enters the country. And shipping remains a traditional strength. But businesses dependent on domestic consumption are suffering. A million people remain jobless. Most of the rest are saving up to pay taxes. Economists say, in the hands of politicians, the medicine of austerity did as much harm as good. If I can make a comparison, I would consider it somebody who has, was suffering from uh, cancer and chemotherapy, chemotherapy has been given to him, which means that although the, good, the bad cells have been dead, now the good cells have also died, a lot of them at least, and which makes the, the country and as a whole, the organism, losing its muscle, losing its strength. The end of the adjustment program was meant to be a turning point when Greece's sacrifices began to pay off. But it is difficult to find anyone who now believes the country is on the right path. Taxes remain high, the political climate is polarized, and people are traumatized. It is as though a war has just ended, but there is no sense that Greece is returning to normality. And that is a deterrent to investors. So is the way in which the refugee crisis has destabilized European politics and undermined solidarity. A looming transatlantic trade war and rising global interest rates could see Greece back in receivership. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.